peace, peace, peace. Shalom, Havarim. How y'all doing, family? How y'all doing? Ha <laughs> Yo, YouTube is hilarious. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So, YouTube, if you don't know, YouTube removed episode 18 of the late hour, man. Absolutely crazy. Also, very expected. But hey, YouTube are a bunch of sellouts and they don't care. But guess what? They're gonna have to pay. All right, they're gonna have to pay. All right, they can do, they can block my video, they can do this, they can do that. But guess what? They're gonna have to pay, man. It's funny because when I uploaded the video, uh, was it yesterday night? Uh, like within minutes, it was just gone. Like I, I, I uploaded the video, I logged off, right? I came back on YouTube, I clicked on a, another video that I was watching, and instantly they hit me up and was like, yo, this video just, just got removed. Literally, like on my screen, like a, a literal pop up. They were like, yo, you're done, so chief, you're done, so. <laughs> so I got a warning. So if it happens again, um, I'm gonna be blocked for a week, okay? Um, so yeah, um, it seems like it seems like they definitely went on social media and was like, "Yo, we gotta be even more strict with these uh with these policies or rules or whatever for uh for for freaking YouTube, right?" So we gotta be extra careful. Okay, I'm gonna try my best. We gotta be uh, extra careful. We gotta be super sneaky on this joint. But hey, it is what it is, okay? So if you missed uh, episode 18 of The Late Hour, then definitely go ahead and click the link in the description. It's gonna lead you to an Odyssey link. Definitely watch it if you haven't watched it, okay? So let's get right into the news. But before we do all that, I would like to give all honor, all praise, all glory to Yahuwah Savayos, the Elohim of Abraham and Yitzhak and Yaakov, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the great I am, the great Ahia, through his son, Yoshua HaMashiach, the one they call Jesus the Christ, okay. I forgot to mention this in the last episode, but, um, the Supreme Court did block that one mandate, you know, the one where, um, the, the businesses with the however many uh, employees yeah uh, that had to get the juicy juice yeah that got blocked okay and that's hilarious because they they probably they probably gonna come back swinging with with, with something with something bigger okay I, I really think this could this could be some false hope you know what I'm saying but hey <laughs> it is what it is you know what I'm saying so Walmart is quietly preparing to enter the metaverse and bro like this whole metaverse thing is absolutely crazy bro like absolutely crazy like I, and I think we did talk about the metaverse before but this thing is just absolutely just just so like it's like it's like they they trying to replace the internet so badly like, just, just just like just imagine you like just getting on the internet and you hopping on the metaverse with your homeboys it's like bro like 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 what like wh i don't know man like this is just this is so weird bro this is so weird let me know what y'all think about the whole metaverse thing so there was a crazy tsunami that happened in tatongo tatange tatonga tungu i don't know okay but there was a tsunami that happened and it was caused by a crazy volcanic eruption all right so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that Tongans are on the beach to film the first waves hit the coast. They record the tsunami as it surges through streets near the capital, Nukualofa. Catching some people inside, while others scramble for higher ground. Only minutes before the waves arrive, Tongans hear the Hunga Hapai volcano explode. This man records one sonic boom on his phone. He moves to the beach, still recording. And moments after noting ash in the sky, this happens. This woman is in a church in the village of Patanata. 
She's talking to friends on her phone. They tell her to leave. I can't go, she says. The water's too high outside. The church is right on the beach and more waves wash inside as she records. Others want to save property. Several try to free up this car on the beach. But then they scramble back as a wave takes the car. So as you can see, fellas, the earth is going crazy right now. And people are going to say, oh, uh, climate change and this and that and the third. No, chiefs, it's, it's, that's not what's going on here. Okay, let me bring out a, a, a verse here. Uh, it's the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 19. Okay, uh, for the creation awaits in eager expectation for the children of Elohim to be revealed. So what y'all need to understand is this earth is is mourning and it is waiting, okay, for righteousness to rule on this earth because right now wickedness, wickedness is in power right now. It's the book of Job, chapter nine, verse twenty-four. The KJV, by the way, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right. So we all we all know that Satan is the one that's ruling this earth right now. All right. So this is this is truth 101 right here. All right. So let's hit Second Corinthians chapter four, verse four, and this is the uh, New Living Translation. Hashatan, Satan who is a god of this world, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. They are unable to see the glorious light of the good news. They don't understand this message about the glory of Christ, who is the exact likeness of Elohim, of God. So Satan is in power right now, fellas, whether you want to admit it or not, all right? Nothing but wickedness, nothing but folly, nothing but vanity in this earth, man. We got chicks out here on all these dating apps, talking to multiple dudes, getting dug out by multiple dudes on the weekend at the club. Dudes out here trying to get they wee wee wet at the club. You know what I'm saying? It's absolute madness out here, man. It's so easy for you to go off. You can go on the, on the Haven tab right now. You can hop on that hub tab right now, get the lotion and start going ham. You can do that if you want to, man. The abortions are, are, are up, all right? We got the the uh, the pride parades going off every every year. And what, what month does it go off? Like June, July, somewhere around there, right? We got the pride, the pride parades, right? LGBTQ going off. People still killing other people. We got the snake bite out in the, in the, in the wild, all right? We got this war coming up with Russia. <laughs> I'm about to get it in a minute. But hey, man, it's crazy out here, bro. Absolute madness. All right. So French Parliament approves more restrictive uh, snake bite pass. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and, and, and uh, watch this, bro. This is, this is insane, bro. This is insane. It's the end of the health pass and access to public places will now require a vaccine pass. This will apply to everyone over 16 to access places such as bars, restaurants, cinemas, and theatres. This also applies to inter-regional transport, including planes and trains. However, a negative test will be enough to enter hospitals. Young people between 12 and 15 are exempt. The health pass will be enough, but parents are divided. It's an infringement on our freedom to have the vaccine pass. We had more freedom with the health pass. I'm vaccinating my child as well because I believe in the vaccine. Absolutely crazy out here, okay? So it's not going to get no better, fellas, okay? Going to keep the stack with you. It is not going to get any better because this world is going to have to go in order for the next world to show up. All right, so let's get into Russia real quick, all right? So Russia, <laughs> this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. Russia moves troops to Belarus for joint exercises near the Ukraine border. Bro, they are gearing up, bro. They are gearing up for this, man. Check this out. It was here. So let's take a look. I'll watch it with you guys. There's no sound, so. 
Looks like he's dragging his gear and going, going to work, going to duty, reporting for duty as ordered. And there's a whole bunch more. And a whole bunch more. And this report yesterday, well, this report came out yesterday and they were talking about hundreds of thousands of troops from Russia and from Belarus were being called up. And that between the two countries, they could put together another half a million troops with their reserve call-ups. Now there's rumors and there are unconfirmed rumors that there would be, there could be up to a million that are being called up right now. And of course we see it right here. Obviously they've been called up and they're going someplace. Now, earlier in the article, it also goes on to say that you know, they're also loading up on buses and going somewhere. Troops like this with their duffel bags and in their gear ready to go. And these buses have no names on them. So there's no destination being told. Of course, I'm sure the drivers know where they're going, but processing into the active military is where they're going and being sent to their assigned unit. Ooh wee yo, it's getting crazy, bro. It is absolutely going crazy right now. You see all this, all these things are happening right now. You got the, you got the snake bite. You know what I'm saying? You got this, you got this war. Okay, we got these tsunamis going off. Okay, we having a, a, a snowstorm, you know, here on the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? So things, things are, things are getting crazy right now. All right, so you need to tap in right now. You need to tap in, okay? You need to increase your frequency, bro. Okay, or sis, or, you know, whoever watching this video. All right, so, yeah, man. That's going to be it for this video. And um, I'm going to see y'all in... The next one. Shalom.